Hey everyone, Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a eBay and charity shop haul video to share with you. I'm hitting up the charity shops every time I go to the Impost Locker. Um, it's right next door and it's so cheap. It's like every sort of bric-a-brac -bric item is between 50p and £2. And a lot of it is that lower end 50p a pound range. So I'm very happy at the moment. Um, and they're getting the stock in and getting it out. So there's always new stuff in there. Uh, at least three times a week I go in now. So I'll show you that stuff first. I got a pair of Inkwell style. There's a sticker that says creative something on them. I need to peel the sticker back and have a better look. They were 75p each. They are floral. I was thinking bud vases or vases. Uh, yeah, I think I saw them as uh, bud vases. Uh, singly for about a fiver each. They were 75p. And I got one of these for one pound. Now there's some listed on eBay, it'll be up here, for eight-ish pounds I think it was. I picked one of these up in filler bag and I sold it the same day for a fiver. It was a lot uglier than this. This is really nice with the woven effect. I'll get about 12 I'm thinking for this one for a pound. Great. And finally, uh, from that day, I picked up a little bit of Playmobil in a carry case for £1.75. There's, I think, four figures and some horses in there. So it'd just be a really quick listing of this plus the carry case for six or seven pounds. Lower value uh, profit, or lower profit, I should say, but hopefully a faster sale because it's Playmobil. That was kind of my thinking when I put, uh, picked it up. Also from the charity shop, which I completely forgot about. I grabbed this for four pounds. It's Little Tyke. Sorry, Little Tyke's shop sets. Now, these are marked on the bottom as the leads. Now, um, I think Darren kindly said that, that Asda has a partnership with Little Tyke's and they have some little shop sort of fronts. These are battery operated, so I need to see if they are working. They are working. Which I'm now before I get a um, music strike. <laughs> there's a few different things in here, and there's some people. So I will probably just do that as a bundle. Again, for 15 or so pounds. There's literally none listed on eBay, which is really weird. Uh, there's a new play set listed with this, but nothing pre-owned. Uh, so again, paying up at a lower profit, hopefully a faster sale. But that's a nice pre-made bundle there. There's a, a few people, a few shops, there's some cafe stuff and a car. So yeah, a nice bundle there. The first thing I can see and grab is a boppet. It will need a good, good clean. It's quite marked, but I think these go for about seven pounds. For one pound, this was in filler bag. Uh, when I went to filler bag, first of all, it was very busy and people were just breathing down your neck and I hate that. Can't stand it. Even with COVID and before COVID, sorry, I can't stand it. Um, there's like 30 boxes on the floor. Why you can't go and pick a box and then move to the box that I'm on when I'm finished with it, I don't know. So I got out of there very quickly. So I went back and had another rummage and this was in it. The Monsters in My Pocket little pack. Before I grabbed it, I looked it up on eBay and the pack on its own should sell for £15. And the monsters inside, depending on what I have got, should sell for a couple of pounds each or just bundle them up for you know, like 10 quid or so. Uh, but yeah, these are sought after. Uh, I paid £1 for that just on its own. Now, I had to grab these. It's Pyrex Corning plates. Clear glass plates. One, two, three, four, five. Five and a very shallow dish uh, for something, I'm not sure. But there's five there in a shallow dish. In filler bag, I think they go for a fiver each or f 10 for three or something. There's a good easy 25 pound profit there. I also grabbed two egg cups. I've sold the Thomas one before for six pound plus post and there's a Spider-Man one. I think these came with Easter eggs many years ago, but uh, people seem to like them. So about six pounds each there. A pottery mug with an R. 
So ideally I'm limited to someone with a surname or a name with an R, but I think I should be right selling that for at least a tenner. It's got a hedgehog on it. I've got to pass the pigs in filler bag. I was very happy with that. Uh, yep, it's all there. Probably unused. It's got the pens as well. Oh, it's used a couple of times. This sells for usually, I believe, £12. Uh, it's got the box with it as well, so I'll sell it as a, you know, boxed item. Box is obviously taped to bits, but I think it might add a little bit more value. Uh, but a nice £7 there. I've sold plenty and plenty of them. I grabbed a very nice Fernanda, Fernanda, Fernanda painted plate on a pottery. And it's marked on the back. Portugal. It is uh, possibly something that you paint yourself, one of those paint your own kind of touristy pieces, but there is a big load of Portuguese on the back, which I will translate through Google Translator on the phone. It lets you take a picture of what you need translating and it will translate it for you. Some Jason coasters, just some fruits. Jason doesn't really sell as well as clover leaf or pimpernel, but there's a small demand for it. The other day, you'll know, I picked up some Coca-Cola glasses and usually there's always kind of the same thing the week after. And there was, there was two. I think he kind of split some of it one week and then the next. I don't know how he works, but yeah, there was two more. And I'm assuming it's from the same bundle because it's the same colorway. Uh, but they're going with that bundle from last week or week before. A Pyrex gravy boat, uh, spare replacement. Had to get a little wicker duck. I don't think it's worth anything, but it was sweet. And I'll uh, try and get a fiver for it. The Locks of Scotland, uh, Wedgwood. I didn't know Wedgwood made stuff like this. Uh, the old sort of fashioned uh, transferware print style of a Lock of Scotland. Uh, lock. Are we? A we? A W E. So yeah, they go for usually about seven pounds each. It's just spares and replacements. A vintage Tams Cadbury mug, and I know it's vintage because it's got the old-fashioned stamping on the bottom. Modern times, it would have like a print or a sticker. The vintage ones are like embossed into it through the pottery. I got. Uh, Biltons, England, uh, Biltons is not the best, but I just was grabbing stuff and I threw that in. It's about a fiver. Possibly a find of the day, I believe it's Royal Worcester, Eversham, Eversham. Salt and pepper shakers, about 12 I think I got for them before. And then uh, Carla was doing like a seven for a pound thing and I sort of joined in. A Pyrex starred bowl. A couple of pounds on that one, uh, a JJ lid, which I need, and two of these Phoenix, I believe it's Phoenix, yeah, Phoenix glass yellow based bowls. Uh, Phoenix is just like your Pyrex and your JJ, but it's an American version or an American branded, I should, uh, or an American branded one, I should say. Um, not that commonly found over here, but you do find it occasionally, and maybe five or so for them. And that's me done. Not as big of a haul this week, uh, but next week should be slightly better. I've got some more charity shop charity shop stuff to show you. Hopefully there was something interesting in here. Uh, I picked up some Pyrex like usual. Uh, I do well with the pottery mug and the pocket in my monsters thing, but generally just a lot more filler, a lot more bric-a-brac, everyday items, nothing really screaming and shouting that week. Hopefully next haul is a bit better. I'll see you all soon.